say a warm welcome to all. So now we are moving on to the next subclass that is monoclamidae. We finished the families of uh, polypetale and gamma petale. Now we are moving on to the family of coming under monoclamidae. Okay. First family is Euphorbiaceae. So by looking into the photograph, you can see this family is uh, the family of gooseberry. Okay. And the subclass monoclamidae. So you know the features of polypetale, gamma petale and the monoclamidae. Okay. So in polypetale petals are fused, gamma uh, free, gamma petale petals are fused and monoclamidae flowers with perianth that is usually in one word. You cannot distinguish them into sepals or petals. So they are mostly sepaloid. Okay. Or rarely in two words and sometimes we they are inconspicuous, not clear or absent. So there, there is no uh, differentiation into petal or sepal. They may be reduced to sepal or they may be called as perianth like colored or green in color. Sometimes may be absent or inconspicuous. Such members are included in the subclass monoclamidae. Clear? Then stamens are antifilous opposite to the perianth. And uh, the u 4 BAC is coming under the series unisexuals. What is unisexuals? It contains female flower and male flower separately. Okay. Flowers are unisexual and monoclamidous. That is important point. So systematic position of euphorbiaceae is euphorbiaceae is coming under dicotyledone, monoclamidae and unisexuals. Dicotyledone you know cotyledon too. Monoclamidae now you know no differentiation only a single word. Unisexuals means Male flower or female flower. Okay. Then looking into the habit. Most of the plants are herbs. Shrubs are there. Trees are there. But most of them are herbs or shrubs. These are some common plants. You know this is gooseberry nellika. This is kirar nelli herbs. Habit is uh, xerophytic. See like this. Xerophytic adaptations. You can see them. With stem is photosynthetic. What is xerophytic? Stem is photosynthetic. Actually, leaves are highly reduced or leaves are absent. This plant is Euphorbia tirukalli. This is a common plant in our area. You, latex is usually oozing out while um, removing the stem part. Okay. This is the habit of tragia. This is a twiner with hairs, stinging hairs present all over the body. Okay. And uh, stinging hairs and also milky latex and juice that I already told you common feature of the family. Milky latex or juice. This is the another peculiar feature. Leaves are simple or usually uh, rarely compound but most of them are simple leaves. Leaves are alternate or stipulate. Stipules may present or alternate leaves. Then uh, leaves of uh, some are modified. Uh, the stipules are modified into glandular hairs. This is Jetropha, you know, Avanak. Uh, this Avanak having uh, the peculiar feature of glandular hairs present. Okay. And this uh, leaves are modified leaves, modified into spines. In Euphorbia anticorum, this is a common plant, leaves modified into spines. And palmately lobed leaves in many hot, that is tapioca, our common kappa, that is the leaves are palmately lobed. Okay. So, uh, these are the different types of leaves. So, simple leaves are there. Leaves are uh, compound are there. And leaves with the hairs are there. Mm? Okay. Stipules modified is there. Then no leaf stem uh, like adaptations is there. Okay. Then uh, palmately compound leaves observed in heavier uh, brasiliensis that is rubber. So, uh, all of these the basic phenomena, the basic feature is presence of latex. Or juicy or a liquid oozes out from the plant and may be palmately compound simple leaves. Okay. Now philanthus and brainia, you can see pinnately compound leaves. This is a philanthus, kirarnili, leaves with the flowers and fruits in the axils of leaves. See, these are the axils, pinnately compound. On the axils, you can see flowers. This is a peculiar feature of the plant philanthus. Okay. Now Looking into the inflorescence, there are different types of inflorescence, usually racemos or maybe cymos. And special type of inflorescence namely cyathium is a common feature of this fam family. 
euphorbia euphorbia members all having cyathium so you know what is a cyathium cyathium is a uh, cup shaped structure with an opening then large number of flowers inside the receptacle a large single female flower okay uh, this is the i will show you this is the large single female flower this is the uh, female flower and these are the male flowers male flowers are represented by anthers okay so this is a cup like structure here nectary disc is also present this is a cyathium inflorescence typical inflorescence of euphorbia see especially the members of euphorbia okay and oblique cyathium present in pedilanthus this plant is very common to you tattapu usually saying like that velichedi this is oblique cyathium see shape now this is another inflorescence this plant is also very common to you catkin inflorescence catkin inflorescence drooping inflorescence okay pendulous manner it is arranged pendulous or drooping down acalypha hispida that is uh, pucha vale sorry uh, yeah uh, acalyca acalypha hispida pucha vale catkin inflorescence and this is croton plant also very familiar to you this plant is racemes with the racemes with the unisexual flowers so variations exist in the inflorescence clear and this is the panicle inflorescence in rubber as well as uh, resinous avana called so panicle this branched racemes okay and dicasyl cyme is the uh, inflorescence of jetropha dicasyl cyme is also present so you can see various types of inflorescence the very important point special type of cyathium then catkin is there then uh, simple racemes is there panicle is there and dicasyl cyme is there so that's a very important uh, part you have to discuss the inflorescence in euphorbia see okay now looking into the flowers flowers are unisexual usually male flower and female flower usually separate regular flowers monoclamidias what do you mean by monoclamidias either sepal or petal or one whorl perianth only hypogynous condition that is ovary superior in position cyclic incomplete why incomplete some of the whorls are absent okay now plants often monoecious the staminate or pistillate flowers on same plant okay same plant having male flower and female flower that condition is known as what condition is known as what monoecious condition clear now some members are dioecious okay some show great reduction in floral parts also then what about flowers flowers are uh, only having two whorls that is perianth plus andrisium or perianth plus gynesium i already told you unisexual perianth is the part but sepal or no differentiate to sepal or petal so perianth and andrisium in male flower perianth and gynesium in female flower so only two whorls clear okay now euphorbia usually perianth is absent you know for bia perian this usually absent male flower represented by anther that is only a single stamen female flower by pistil alone clear so male flower is represented by a single male flower is represented by uh, only a single uh, stamen and female flower represented by pistil alone okay now look at this picture this is perian usually green but some may be petaloid or colored rarely absent in euphorbia it is absent i already told you uh, usually containing five lobes see here this is the perian the 1 2 3 4 five whorls perian the only one whorl this is a stamens okay male flower now perian the see here also uh, 1 2 3 4 5 colored then that is uh, six here it is six tepals in two whorls of three each that is uh, one example brainia two whorls of three each 3 plus 3 then see here often free rarely united one in uh, united one or free usually free in the case of manihotta that is our tapioca and here jetropha 10 perianth lobes in two worlds 5 plus 5 so difference is there 5 plus 5 this is outer 5 and inner 5 5 plus 5 outer is sepaloid and inner is petaloid clear then andrisium represented on that is only in male flowers male flower having uh, definite number of stamens or indefinite number of stamens stamens may be one to many usually free may sometimes may be united these are the many stamens you can see here five sets this is very important in resinous avanak there are five set five set of branched stamens see 
five sets of branches. One stamen with one group with the branched stamen, another group with the branched stamen, like five sets of branched stamen were in Rusinus. Then in Sayatium, another very important point, main flower reduced to a single stamen. See, this is a disc and male flower is having only a single stamen in Sayatium inflorescence. This is a Sayatium inflorescence, male flower with a single stamen. This is a female inflorescence. And this is the uh, stamen united to fire bundle in Jetropha and Brainia. These are the stamens united into a bundle in Jetropha. Uh, then uh, stamens are free in many hot that is uh, kappa and 5 plus 5 are the condition ok. So variations are there uh, and and the two cell to longitudinal day cell. So you can see the wide variation in the stamens that is very important you have to uh, have asking for short knots uh, and rhythm in euphorbiaceae. So it is um, usually represented by single one in euphorbia and uh, in sciatium also like that. In some it is maybe two worlds arranged 5 plus 5 in other one some cases it is only in one world likewise it is arranged. Then what about gynesium? Gynesium is usually tricarpillary three carpels see this one uh, two and three three carpels are the syncarpus trilocular axial placentation. Then one ovule in each locule styles are free united at a base stigma three to six branched okay. Now Nectary at the base of the ovary. Very important point. A nectary disc. Nectar disc is present at the base of the ovary. That secrete sugary substance. See, this is an example for sciatic inflorescence. Large single female flower, tricarpillary, trilocular. These are the male flowers. This is one male flower. This is another male flower. Male flower represented by single stamen also. Okay. Female flower reduced to a single pistil in sciatia. See, this is an example of gynesium picture you can see. Then fruit. Fruit is a schizocarp. What is schizocarp? Schizocarpic fruit is uh, not a dehiscent, not indehiscent, in between actually. So, they are septicidally divided into three one-seeded segments. So, seeds divides, this is a seeds, see. Seeds divides into segments, one-seeded segments, okay. And the segments are merry cups. This type of fruit is known as redma. So, Regma is a schizocarpic fruit observed in the family um, euphorbias. Usually, this fruit is asking for practical examination to write. So, what you will write? Regma. So, uh, the fruit of Ricinus is Regma. Okay. Mary cups is the splitted portion. So, usually these are very, uh, very unique to see all the Mary cups. Okay. Sometimes fruit is a drupe or a berry. This is a fruit. Then. This is the fruit, tricarpillary fruit you can see in the picture. Okay. Another fruit. Then seeds. Seeds are having shining testa and spongy caruncle. This caruncle is the tip here. This is the shiny testa. Seeds are endospermous and oily. Then these are the some seeds. Caruncle, see caruncle is the projection here. Okay. Now economic importance. Looking into the economic importance of the family. Family is highly economically important. Starch is extracted from that is cassava flour, you know, cupped uh, starch. It is used for starching the clothes. And also, is an adventitious root is very, very important. So, uh, yield huge amount of starch. And the tuber is edible. Uh, that is, uh, tapioca tuber is edible and used for alcohol fermentation. Castor oil, Avanakana, that is Rusinus communis, Avanak is very important medicine in Ayurveda. Then edible fruits is very, Philanda semblica is a very important edible fruit. That is gooseberry or nelika is rich in vitamin C, minerals, everything. So a good uh, antioxidant containing fruit. And uh, another edible fruit is Philanthus acidus, wildly going Philanthus acidus. Then medicinal plant. Another one, Ricinus communicus, Chuvanavanak, Ricinus communicus, communis. Then uh, another one is Philanthus emblica, it is also highly medicinal. Then Philanthus amaras, this you know that Kidar Nelly usually used to treat jaundice. Philanthus amaras, Manya Pitam. Okay. Then this is the common ornamental plants that we are growing. Euphorbia pulcherima, this one you, you, you are familiar with this. Inflorescence is Ayatim inflorescence. Okay, euphorbia pulcherima, colored leaves. 
This is also a very common plant in your garden, Euphorbia milli. And this is another common ornamental, Akalifa hispida pochavale. This is another common plant, Pedilanthus. I show once is flower to you in a slide to show the oblique, uh, I mean oblique sayatium. Okay, Pedilanthus. And uh, rubber is highly economically important. Its latex is used for many purposes. Hevia brasiliensis. And, uh, and other some plants that you, we can familiarize. One is Euphorbia hirta, a common plant, a common weed available in ground floor that is actually prostrate plant. In our campus, it's full of the somewhat the same plant is available in the Ruby AC. I already told you Mitra Carpus. Don't confuse with this is Euphorbia hirta. And this plant is very familiar to you. You are used it as a vegetable, leafy vegetable in our garden, our kitchen gardens. That is Sauropus androgynus, Adukla chira, Sambar chira, likewise. Sauropus androgynus. And this is another common plant, Euphorbia heterophylla, widely growing in our campus. A huge amount of number is the Euphorbia heterophylla. And this is another very common plant, Sebastiana. These are all occur widely. This is occur in our kitchen garden. And these are all widely occurring, very common plants of the family, Euphorbia CA. And uh, so we finished you for BSA. So what are the questions coming from you for BSA? One is Andresham in you for BSA. Uh, the why it is monoclamidia in nature. Economic importance of you for BSA. Vegetative characters of you for BSA. So these are some of the important questions coming under. So what we finished now is a family coming under monoclamidia. Monoclamidia means perianth that is no differentiation to sepal or petals. Okay. And this group is usually asking for examination. Now, one more monoclamidian group is there, the family is there, that is Amaranthesi that we will discuss in the next class. So, uh, up to that, uh, so I am leaving. Thank you very much.